The key findings of our assessment paper is that the current climate policy too heavily focuses on CO2. Methane is also a very important greenhouse gas. It is a very short-lived greenhouse gas and has also a very high global warming impact. 15% of the global greenhouse gases are coming from methane and half of the global methane on a global scale is produced from agriculture and also the rest from waste and energy production like natural gas, coal and oil. The sources of methane emissions are coming from different sectors. On the one hand, 30% is coming from fermentation of rudiments, 18% from natural gas and oil systems, 12% of landfill and waste, 10% of rice cultivation, and the rest of wastewater, coal mining, and livestock manure. As methane is the second most important greenhouse gas on a global scale after CO2, and 50% of all greenhouse gases are methane, and it is a very short-lived gas and has such a high climate impact, we recommend to do, do two things. First, to avoid and mitigate emissions, methane emissions where possible, especially in the energy production sector, like gas transmission and also coal mining. And second, to utilize methane in sectors where mitigation is very difficult, especially 50% of methane emissions are coming from agriculture and waste, we recommend to utilize methane for energy production, especially, especially like biogas that can be used for electricity production, for heating, and it has very high potentials in the USA and China, but also in Africa.